I'm Tanya Grigg, Senior Conservation Breeding Officer at WWT Slimbridge. My role is to develop methods to increase the productivity of threatened wetland species. One species we are helping in the UK is the Blacktail Godwit. Blacktail Godwits are red listed in the UK, meaning the threat of extinction is not far away. We are working with the RSPB to save Godwits at wetlands in East Anglia using a variety of conservation methods including head starting. Head starting increases the number of chicks that survive to fledge, that is when they can fly. We literally give them a head start in life. We've developed head starting techniques through decades of managing water birds in our collections. At WWT Slimbridge we manage a small group of captive godwits. These birds have helped us to work out exactly what it takes to hatch godwit chicks and to raise them to be healthy breeding adults. This summer we used a webcam to monitor the incubation and behaviour of one of our pairs of captive godwits. Before eggs were laid, the male bird made three nest scrapes for his mate. She chose the best one in which to lay a clutch of four eggs. They all look the same by the way. The male provided almost all the egg care. He started to incubate the clutch a few hours after the third egg was laid on the 1st of May. We could hear the chicks calling from inside the airspace in their eggs and the first chick hatched early on the morning of the 23rd of May. When a godwit chick hatches is exhausted, the downy plumage is damp from high humidity inside the egg and the baby is very wobbly on its feet. Mum and Dad are very excited about the first arrival and appear to assist the other chicks to hatch with a lot of calling and some quite rough handling. It was as if the parents, using their feet and bills, helped the chick to break out of the tiny eggshells. Once the chicks were dry and strong on their feet, Dad led them away from the nest to look for small insects in the grass, much like they would do in the wild. To find out about our work with Godwits in the wild, visit the Project Godwit website or look out for us on social media.